I've posted a link to the website Einstein at Home in the video description of this video. And I'm going to read this directly from their website, and then I'm going to say a few words on it. Einstein revolutionized our understanding of the universe and set the course for physics research in the 20th century. Now, 50 years after his death and 100 years after his special theory of relativity was published, we have a chance to confirm one of Einstein's most important predictions. Einstein suggested that we live in a universe full of gravitational waves. He proposed that exploding stars, colliding black holes, and other violent events create waves that alter space-time. We have not detected these waves yet because it requires tools sensitive enough to measure very small effects. It's like trying to detect a change in the distance from the Earth to the Sun equal to the width of an atom. Technology has caught up with Einstein's prediction. Now we have detectors sensitive enough to see these waves. Two of them, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, in the United States, and GEO 600 in Germany, are working together to find gravitational waves from stars and black holes. These experiments require enormous amounts of data to be processed, so LIGO Group created Einstein at Home. Einstein at Home uses private computers to process LIGO and GEO 600 data. Private computer owners can download software onto their computers that receives data from a central server. The computers process the data when they are not being used for other things, like email or word processing. Then, the computers send the processed data back to the server, and it can get more to analyze. Einstein at Home doesn't affect how computers perform, and you can stop it at any time. And this really is the case throughout all of astronomy in pretty much every field. Technology today is such that there is so much information just pouring in uh, from all over the universe in so many different forms, uh, being gathered by so many different types of sensors and devices, that there's more data than there are people to process it, and there's more data than there are uh, computers to process it. And that's where you and I can come in. That's where the average person can come in and help to diminish this backlog of information. We can all expedite the process of expanding the human sphere of knowledge by you know, devoting our computer's time and energy to this. And it doesn't really take up any of our time and energy. It's just our computer's time and energy. It doesn't get in the way of whatever we have to do. Our computer just does this when we're not using it. So I would... I would uh, encourage anyone that's watching this video, go to the website, download the software, and help to make a difference. Um, I only heard about this a few days ago. Uh, Fake Sagan left a comment on my General Relativity Gravity Waves video, saying that he had been using it for several months now, uh, and I immediately downloaded and started using it, so thank you. And I really do mean that. Thank you. Uh, it makes, makes a big difference, and it really does mean a lot to me. Uh, I'm very happy to be doing this now. And gravity waves are very important. If you haven't already seen my video on gravity waves, I would suggest you go watch it now. Or at least just skip ahead to the part where I say how important they are. We can find out all kinds of new information uh, on new things that we might not have expected, or new information on things we already know about, and we can get a better idea of how this universe formed, look way back to the beginning. This is really huge, and uh, instead of just sitting around being interested in this, you can actually help make a difference. You can actually help make history. So, go to the website. Check it out. Thank you.